You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What's up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you guys for all your, all your continued love and support. I want to um, welcome back to the channel. Send a shout out to my OGs. Thank you for your continued love and support. And I want to welcome to the channel any new viewers. Uh, thank you guys for being here as well and checking us out over here. And if you're liking what we're vibing on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be a part of the fam. We love to have you a part of the crew. And um, y'all go ahead and smash that like button for your big brother. It does help out a lot on the channel. And I do appreciate you guys. Okay, that's a good way to give back energetically as well. If you're entertained, if you like the video, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I wanted to let's start off with an Oracle card. Because today I'm going to be using wait, I'm going to start off with an Oracle, Oracle card from the uh, Spirit of Animal Oracle. And then I'm going to be using this uh, thing called Love Deck. So, yo, we're going to check and see what's going on in the love area with somebody out here. Because I feel like somebody's somebody's story needs to be told and somebody needs to get a message. Okay. What we have for the Oracle message, please. Too many. too many yep <laughs> wow something is like Somebody's keeping something under wraps, yo. Somebody doesn't want to open up here. Somebody's closed off to uh, the new. I feel like somebody in the, within the collective is closed off to new. They're, um, I'm just hearing you've had enough or you might be focusing on yourself or you might have written love off completely. Wow. But yo, we have number 66. That's a beautiful number. This is a white raven spirit. It says trust in the magic. I'm hearing for you guys. I'm hearing don't give up on yourself. Trust in the magic. Believe in. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. That's what I'm hearing right now. To, to not give up on yourself. There's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that you don't realize. I feel like a lot of you guys have given up on love. Or you have sh uh, closed it off. Or you're not open. You guys know what we've been vibing on over here for a while now, and that is um, us opening our hearts again, our heart chakras. You know what I'm saying? Some of us may be feeling, and the collective may be feeling guilty about um, what has taken place in the past, or somebody around you, okay, maybe feeling guilty, okay. Um, I'm getting somebody feeling guilty about allowing themselves to be attached to a certain person. I want you to know right now. Um, that every lesson, every situation that you've been through, is it's been a learning lesson uh, for you. And every uh, experience that you see as a mistake is there as a learning tool to teach you and show you what you want, okay? To show you your worth and to help you tap back into self-love. So I hope you guys um, are seeing every experience that you go through in love and life in general you're seeing it as a learning experience, right? I see that somebody is like upset. Somebody may be upset at an individual or that's the energy. Yo, yo, that's why this energy is close. Yo, somebody's feeling very, very closed off right now to the idea of love. Yeah, somebody's like, nope, nope, I don't want it. I don't want love anymore. I don't want to go through it. Nope, nope, nope. But I feel like a, a, a lot of us in general here, there's like, the majority are open, but then there's a group of people who are not open. And those are the ones who may be mad. You know what I'm saying? You may be mad at somebody for what they did to you, how they treated you. Because we got guilty and peed off. Maybe the person also feels guilty about what they did to you. But I'm hearing don't give up on life. That was just one experience with one person. Even if it was two or three people, that's just... Those are those are isolated incidents. It doesn't mean that everybody is going to treat you that way or every experience have love experience. Yeah, somebody is hella frustrated right now. Right. You may feel like you're not being supported as well. 
or you may feel like this person, there's somebody that was around you was not supporting you maybe you may be mad at an individual for not doing what they supposed to what they said they were they were gonna do <clears throat> let's see what else we got here yeah i'm getting somebody being frustrated and mad because somebody prom may have promised you the world somebody may have said that oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this i'm gonna be i'm gonna show up yeah see lessons this is a whole lesson you see what i'm talking about yeah you guys are right now going through a period are needing to go through a period of heart repair and what this means is that for you fixing your heart and you uh, healing from these past experience or whatever this person did to you or, or how whatever you feel like they did to you. Because, you know, we all have our own side of the story. You know what I'm saying? That person may be feeling like um, I didn't do anything to you. Da -da -da, but you might be feeling like, yes, you did the world to me. Da -da -da. They may be saying that you did everything, you know. But either way, this you're leaving or you left out of an experience that has left you frustrated, that has left you pissed off, that has left you agitated, that has left you. Uh, some of you guys may be feeling guilty about something that may have taken place. I don't know. You may or that other person may be feeling guilty and you may have uh, felt that um, that there was no support in this connection. Right. But spirit is wanting you to not allow that situation, whatever, regardless if this was something uh, from the far past or recent past or whatever, or if something currently currently that you're going through. Spirit doesn't want you to allow this to stop you from loving, allow this to stop you from experiencing uh, new people, places and things. Right. This is a whole lesson. And spirit wants you to to take something valuable from what you've experienced. Right. Just. Yeah, spirit is like, I don't want you to just take from the experience that you're frustrated or this, this person is trash or whatever. I hear somebody saying this person is trash, yo. But uh, spirit is saying that I don't want you to just take that from the situation to that that person uh, peed you off or they agitated you. Uh, they may have done you dirty or played you dirty. That's not what they want you to take from the situation. Yeah, that happened. And, and spirit is not telling you to uh, forget about what happened, but spirit is telling you to not let that be your end all be all in your experience in love right and we are on a period you guys are on a period right now to where you're healing your heart or spirit is wanting you to heal your heart because uh i'm i'm, I'm hearing for somebody the show must go on right the show must go on somebody may have been you may have been dealing with somebody who's in denial about how they treated you yo yeah you may have been uh Wow. <laughs> wow, you guys. <laughs> Look what I got right here. Circle the block. This person is about to circle the block, yo. There's somebody who's in denial of what they did to you. Like, it, there's a reason why I said there's, you know, there's different sides to the story. So there's your story, their story, and then the truth, right? Not saying that nobody's lying. Not saying anybody's stories, you know, valid over the next. But... I feel like this person, this person, I feel like they're not accepting responsibility. This person is not accepting responsibility because I did get just SEX and I, and I got crybaby. Like somebody, somebody uh, likes to play the victim. Tell me about this person that's in denial that's going to spin the block. This person is in denial, yo. That's like they, they're not really uh being accountable yeah wow this person this person okay allowed uh created or allowed obstacles to come in between you and this and, and this and this person okay this is somebody who didn't or who does not understand what a divine connection is they don't understand the divine masculine divine feminine you guys may be very spiritual and you may be very hip to uh the whole spiritual connection you know what i'm saying but you felt it but this person does not feel it they either are not feeling it or they're purposely trying not to feel it and because they want to keep it something that's physical but you want more than that right because i feel like uh you're wanting more than that and that that has served as to be an obstacle in your life uh for moving this uh connection forward all right 
I feel like when you found out that this person, what they were doing and that they didn't, they, they didn't value you. Okay. They weren't supporting you. It made you mad. It made you frustrated because you can already, you could feel that there's something. See, you guys may have met some, per wow, wow. I'm hearing uh, that you may have met somebody at the, you may have, some of y'all may have met the right person at the wrong time. This person still has a lot to learn. They still have a lot to go through. Yeah, because you guys are a diamond and I feel like this person did not see you as that diamond. Yeah, they didn't they didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value. They didn't see the fact that you are divine fem feminine or divine masculine, whatever you want to call it. Right. They didn't see that you guys had a higher uh, soul purpose together. I feel like this person is still having this person has a uh, youthful, a very, very youthful mind. This person is dealing with a lot of insecurities. And this is something that you can't teach this person, okay? I'm hearing you can't teach them that. They have to learn it on them on their own. But in the meantime, spirit is like you need to heal your heart, right? From the damage that this person has done to you. We got in your lane. You guys are staying in your lane. Our spirit is telling you to just stay in your lane and, and focus on yourself. I'm getting that your main priority right now needs to be learning from this lesson. Okay. Holding yourself in high regard and seeing your worth and your value. Seeing that a divine uh, feminine or masculine don't have to chase nobody. You know what I'm saying? It should be a mutual. Uh, the chemistry should be mutual. It's funny that on the bottom of this deck, uh, before I started shuffling, the chemistry was in reverse. You know what I'm saying? It's like. One person feels this magnetic connection while the next person is busy. Like they're not developed uh, spiritually like that to even understand what's going on. This person is too much in the street. They're too much in the world right now. Okay. They're showing up as somebody who is of the world. You know, how I say be of the world, but not in it. No, this person is of the world and in it. You know what I'm saying? They're not really, they're not grasping. And somebody's in this, uh, heartbroken feeling it says you may you may be hit with the harsh reality yeah this person hit you with with a harsh reality because you knew you knew the potential of this connection where it what it could have been you know because think about it right even if it's a higher level uh connection whatever label you put on it even though it's that we all still operate off of free will just because somebody is falling on, on, under the, under the category of your divine masculine divine feminine soul mate twin flame whatever other label we all still operate off of free will and we see here right now that this was a divine connection with you and another person but you ended up frustrated and disappointed and this person is because this person is in denial about who you are at this time but at the same time we can't just wait around and wait for this person to to to, to see you you have to work on yourself because I feel like this person has caused you uh, some damage in this connection. Yeah, you know, this person broke your heart, heartbroken. It says someone may have disappointed you or you have disappointed someone else. You may also be feeling residual energy from a past connection that you need to release and heal from. See, some of you guys, this connection is already passed, but you're still holding. There's still some of that residual energy that is still within your aura and that's still blocking you from moving forward. That's what we have to work on re uh, repairing that heart. And Spirit is telling you, um, your best bet right now is to, I just heard go into hermit mode. I don't know, I just heard for somebody go into hermit mode, stay in your own lane and focus on healing your heart so that you can really, yeah, see what I'm talking about, yo? Be your, you got self best friend. This is you being your own best friend right now. Spirit wants you to be your own best friend so that you can heal from whatever this was, this person, right? Some of you guys may be dealing with anxiety from this. I feel like this, this person has done a number on you and on your heart because you knew that there was something special and that there was something different about this person. But this person chose, okay, purposely chose to ignore the connection to ignore their true feelings. This person is dealing with some blockages of their own and that's where they're in that energy. And this person is 
this is the energy that they're in back and forth back and forth back and forth they got you on swivel like it's a revolving door you know coming i heard you can't keep running in and out of my life it's, they're just running back coming back and forth that's why we got this circle to block because this person is not done i feel like you guys are in this energy right here defensive yeah like you, you you you're defensive towards this individual you're not really feeling with this person. Yeah, this person is determined. <sighs> wow. You're defensive towards this person because you know what they're about. You know that they're bringing you chaos, confusion, anxiety, heartbreak. Agi this person is agitating, like irritating you is what I'm getting. We got nostalgia. Yeah, see? Yeah, this person from your past is coming back, baby. I hate to say this, and I, you know how these, the, you can't, you can't, we can't make this stuff up, yo. It says someone from your past has been thinking about you. They want to reconcile with you, or you may be thinking about someone from your past and want that old thing back. And then we have taboo. This situation may involve two people from two different worlds attracting each other. Although there are differences, the chemistry between the two defies all logic. Others may not agree on you two being together. See, other people may be looking at y'all like, you, you y'all not for each other, you feel me? And it's like this person is in this energy now where they're ready to fight for this. Wow. We got flow. It says, allow events to flow naturally. Rushing things could Create circumstances that will ruin the progress you've been making. What's meant to be will be. Be content with the natural flow. And it says respect. The situation involves both parties respecting each other and being kind and gentle. There's a mutual respect that goes unspoken in this situation. This is based on equal give and take. It seems like this person. Wow. Are they realizing? Are they real? Yo, let me let me pull something else. So. Oof. I knew it. Let me see. And then we got fight. Okay, so breakthrough. It says they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication soon. This is a completely different deck, you guys. And we have the same type of energy, okay? We have the fight. It says their inner warrior is being activated you see oh my god yo it looks like somebody's divine counterpart is waking up there's a potential that this person could be waking up though wow <laughs> this is different this is different i mean i can't i i, I can't remix it i'm trying to like thick it, thick it, thick it. i'm trying to remix it a little bit but it's like nope mm -mm, it's what it is their inner warrior is being activated they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love i'm telling you this person is had this person this is somebody who's growing up we will never see this on, wow yo you never see stuff like this i never see stuff like this i just sat here and just talk cash money <laughs> basura you know what i mean Edda on this guy on this person this guy or girl and it's like they learn it but it's like are you open because i feel like you guys are still in this defensive energy but this person is actually this person is learning like they're finally seeing you wow yo <laughs> whoa it says destined yo you cannot escape them and they can't escape you. The universe is conspiring to bring you two in each other's lives. You were fated to cross paths. It's like the story between you and an individual. For some of y'all, it was uh, you were just talking to that person. It could have been for some people. OK. And they played you and went to the left, to the left. You feel me? Or some of y'all was in a full fledged connection and relationship. But this person was just immature. And it's like now. Now they 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 having an, a breakthrough right now, an epiphany, to where they are. This person's heart could be healing as well too, right? 
Because this person may have, I'm telling you, this person was dealing with a lot of insecurities about themselves. And me, and I'm picking up for some of you guys, it was from childhood wounding, right? I feel like some of y'all, a person grew up in a household where they were not shown love or where they were not shown healthy love, okay? So they don't know how to process it. They don't know how to, 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 to build on it or to operate within it. Wow. This person, I feel like you and another individual are also mirroring each other. You're fixing your heart, and for some of y'all, 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 y'all gotten over this person already. Uh, unfortunately, you've gotten over this person already. But I feel like this is that person. You've gotten over them, right? But at the same time, you still think about them. Sometimes we got Gemini here, we got Taurus, and we got uh, Aries. But you can't stop thinking about it. You know that person like, oh, my God, I can't stand this individual. Stay out of my life. Da, da, da. But then a week or two, a month or whatever, you're thinking about them. You're worried. You're like this part. There, there's something that keeps you two coming back together or focusing back on the other person. If you're out of contact, no, no. Uh, what do you call it? No contact with this person. This person is trying to find out, get an update on you because they, I, I'm feeling that this person now, the reason why they want to fight. OK, because ain't nobody going to fight for some garbage. You feel me? They're, they're now seeing who this person. I'm, yo, I feel like this person had a wake up call, yo. <sighs> I'm hearing somebody, some situation. That this person got themselves caught into beat some sense into this individual <laughs> i just heard they got the stuff and knocked out of them yo it's like some somebody beat some senses into this individual and now they're like wait a minute oh my god and i feel like there's any just think about it right just think about how you were before you had your awakening or how you you know uh start learning about spiritual connections and stuff like that you didn't know nothing about it you didn't understand it you might have been standing right next to a soulmate and you didn't realize who they were this person was the same way there could be an age difference or just a mental like our spiritual you know uh um difference in between you guys like you guys may be more spiritually advanced advanced or some of y'all are older than this person for some of you guys yeah but uh, now this person they're, they're going from they're going from, oh, I'm just interested in the, in the, in the, you know, SEX or whatever to this person actually shedding tears. Wow. <laughs> to this person actually shedding tears over this connection over potentially missing out on an op opportunity with, uh, someone who's a diamond for one and a divine connection. Okay. With, with, with another person, it says choices. It says there is a choice to you. There's a choice they have to make. They know. Uh, they know this is not on their side. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever. If they don't, you see what I'm talking about? I feel like this person, this person like, yo, what was I thinking when this person snapped out of whatever they, whatever they were in, they snapped out of it. And they were like, yo, I just left let a divine you know counterpart just pass me by i didn't take them serious because they were ignoring the they were ignoring the deep feelings and deep emotions i feel like this person was having them and they didn't they for one may not have wanted to feel these emotions for whoever this is and for two they may have just not might not wanted to feel those emotions from another person and it's like somebody in this connection feels exhausted it says there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you they're really trying to trust the situation it's like this person i feel like not only recently their life threw them a, a number and snapped them out of their funk or whatever it was and now they see i can see clearly now the rain is gone they can see clearly now you feel me i feel like their parents i'm getting this is far reaching their parents did a number on this person to where they didn't know about they don't know about love i'm hearing i want to know who love is like this is somebody who don't know what love is or they didn't know what love is and then and they're wake awakening to that there, there may have been a traumatic event that took place in this person's life yeah something something traumatic may have happened 
because a lot of a lot of times when we go through a dark night of the soul a traumatic event an illness an accident or uh, a major loss in our lives it shifts you it forces you to wait uh see a different perspective in life you know what i'm saying and i feel like this person may have gone through that because we have old wounds didn't i tell y'all i just told y'all that and look at this is confirmation i just told y'all that this person is dealing with childhood wounds it says their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships y'all come on now my drum is downstairs but y'all come on now comment down below if y'all ready to go y'all y'all come on now come on now i'm telling y'all this person and I'm not even going to sit here and talk trash about an individual like this because when you think about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I've had a realization in my life recently, too, to where uh, it's helped me to process a, uh, some baggage that I took, had in my life. And then which is putting me more so into alignment to not only seeing, you know, a person's uh, uh, hang ups or um, wounds and stuff like that, allowing me to. Be more compassionate. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm already compassionate, but allow, allow me to be more because I can't shut it off. You know what I'm saying? We all operate off of free will. We, we we got it, but sometimes you can shut it off. You feel me? But I am understanding that a lot of people, they act off how they were taught and what they were shown in an early age. This person may have grown up in a dysfunctional household. They may have grown up in a dysfunctional household where the parents didn't hug them. Where they didn't tell them that I love you. And then it's like they come across you. I feel like you both felt this though. Like I'm saying, I'm getting different groups. Some of y'all never were intimate with this individual. But you were, y'all were giving each other googly eyes. You were talking, you were texting, you were, you know, sending them. Them, them vibrations was going, was being transferred between you two. Like this connection between you and this person was undeniable. You could not deny it. That's why this person, this person may have acted kind of macho. Even if they're, even if they're a female, they may have been in this macho energy to where they were, they were trying to act like, you know, trying to overcompensate for these strong emotions that they had whenever they saw you, whenever they were around you. This person was fighting those feelings tooth and nail because to them, they may have grown up uh, feeling that if they express those emotions or if they allow themselves to feel those emotions, there's some negativity that's attached to it. Or there's some that you're going to be weak or something like that. Right. I'm telling you this person's parents. I called it on this one. Yo, I called it on this one. This person's parents did a number on them. So this is an individual who has baggage from childhood who does not, who didn't or does not. But I feel like this person is changing their heart is healing and they are more so opening up to this connection but i mean is that really enough you know what i'm saying are they really changed are they different are they going to give you are are they able or capable of giving you uh, a different experience this time right we got investigating then i tell you this person was snooping on y'all i trying to trying to get updates on you guys investigating they're secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new yeah this person wants to know what's up they know they can't come directly to you because i feel like you guys may have cut this person off. The bridge was burnt. The, for some of y'all, the bridge was blown up, yo. The bridge was blown up. We got brewing up. It says, be ready to expect the unexpected. Because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. I'm telling you, this person is like... <sighs> this person is like they can no longer hold it. I'm picking up a lot of uh, a lot of what do you call it? A lot of physical, a lot of uh, Kundalini type energy from this person. This person's Kundalini is rising right now, yo. And I feel like before they didn't understand it, but I feel like the older they get, the more they come into their true their true self. They're not acting like a child anymore, right? Spirit is saying, be adventurous. I feel like this person is, is being told to be adventurous. 
to at least check and see if it's too late. At least check and see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all may be open to this person. You feel me? <clears throat> For some of y'all, I feel like this person like picked other people. They picked sexual connections versus one that was a, a divine connection. You know what I'm saying? Because 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 of their immaturity and their insecurity. It says set a solid foundation. This person wants to come in and set a solid foundation. Happiest couple understand each other. I feel like this person is now in this energy of wanting to understand you and wanting you to understand why they acted the way that they acted. But either way this goes, it says God, the gods favor you. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. And it's a temptation. It says each day gets harder and harder to resist what they know and their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Like I told you, it's something taboo about this. I feel like with the taboo card. Give me that sweetest taboo. Yeah, give me that sweet taboo, baby. Give me that sweet. Let me stop, yo. What is coming into my damn head, yo? But yo, taboo. I feel like there's there's something about your connection between you and this individual to where, yeah, like some people around you will not, um, they may not like you guys being together. You guys may be a different race. You may be a different uh, culture, different whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, there's a there's a major difference. That's a uh, difference that's in between you. You got choices. Y'all both got choices to make, right? Y'all both got choices to make. You're holding yourself in high value. Now, I feel like you're showing up differently now, right? You're not showing up as that same uh, person that was going to let somebody play games with you or that's going to let somebody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 um, just handle you any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. We got sabotage right here. You're no longer if somebody's going to sabotage something and somebody's doing working against the connection. I feel like you're in the energy. This is a new cycle. You're just letting stuff go. Right. You're it's a new you. I got a new attitude is what I'm just hearing right now. You're a, a different person now. You're not that same individual that you were when you guys first met. Wow. <sighs> This is different, you guys. This is different, you guys. And I'm opening myself up to uh, exploring these different types of connections. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys even have a telepathic connection with each other. You may have dreamt about this person. You may have, you might. Some of y'all may still dream about this person. This person is definitely dreaming about you. Some of y'all may have stopped dreaming because you chose to stop dreaming about this individual. You put, you said, look, 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 spirit, take them out of my mind, my body, my soul. It's over with. You feel me? But the thing is, even though you may have done that, if you're still thinking about this person, that just shows that there's a, a, a deeper, a deeper reason why you guys met each other. Okay. It says close souls are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. So your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust in the process. You see what I'm talking about, you guys. This is a soulmate reconnected, divine connection reconnected. Unfortunately, I know some of y'all are like, it ain't on me. I don't want to. I, I know y'all be in the comments like, I ain't taking nobody back. <laughs> Yo, I'm just a messenger, you feel me? And once I'm done, transmission is concluded. Trans the transmission is over, you feel me? I'm not going to entertain it from nobody, you feel me? I'm giving you the messages how they're coming to me because this, this is for somebody, you feel me? Your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust the process. I feel like you guys may have met at a certain time. Maybe you were meant to open this person up and that's why they have not forgotten about you because you are the catalyst for this person to realize their divinity you feel me for them to realize and hold themselves in high regard like how you hold yourself in high regard right this is a brand new spiritual journey that you are embarking on it says embrace what destiny has in store for you that destiny that destiny message 
came out twice here. Yeah, that Destiny message came out twice. Where is it? Yeah, right here. You cannot escape them. They can't escape you. It's destiny. It is what it is. Sometimes we'll try to run from this, run from an individual person, but it's like, God, like, you can run from them all you want to. Y'all need to work on yourselves. You need to repair your heart. Uh, do whatever work you need. Wow, yo, look at this, y'all. I'm not, see, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all today. You feel me? I'm letting you know, I'm letting you know the real, uh, what the, f look at this, y'all. Marriage and intense and union. Pat, y'all got a, y'all have a past life with this individual. Y'all got, yo, y'all have a past, let me read each one of these, y'all. Y'all got a past life with this individual. That's why this person is not leaving your life. And on the flip side, some of y'all, this could be a brand new person coming in. Like, uh, I don't know, but I'm getting that. Yeah, circle the block. This is somebody that you, you have some sort of interaction with. Some of y'all platonic, some of y'all it was full on, you know what I'm saying? Boom, chicka, boom, boom. It was, you know what I'm saying? A uh, union, the union of divine soul counterparts. It is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. That is what you guys have been experiencing. You can't make this stuff up. That's what y'all been experiencing with an individual or hell what you might what you will experience i don't know depends on where you guys are on the timeline you know what i'm saying because i know this this is a general reading so you, whatever uh marriage a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together past lives we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives feelings Take time to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. I feel like you guys, you, you got a key. Un, uh, you got a key and they got a key. Look at this, a keyhole. You see, this is so funny that I said about a key. Look at this right here in the lips. You see that keyhole right there? Yo, 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 they got a key to your heart. You got a key to theirs. So I don't care how much time has passed. Y'all get in front of each other. It's going to be fireworks all over again. It's going to be fireworks all over again deeply. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose and your relationships, right? This, this is a higher purpose. You guys are being called together, right? You got to you gotta look within to uh, see what that means to you so that you, you're make, you're make, you can make the most of this and you don't got to be repeating stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, love. Queen of Cups. Balancing out your emotions. This is somebody that uh, you have deep feelings for. This person has deep feelings for you. There's going to be a huge option that you're going to have to make. Yeah. Some of y'all are already in hermit. Like, then I say y'all was in hermit mode. They're going to carve right there. Confirmation hermit. Hermit mode, baby. But this is a new opportunity that's coming to you. A brand new, fresh new start. Come. Oh, my God. Look at this, y'all. Look right under the. Yo, I don't know who. Who is this for, yo? And this is coming after you. Yo, this is coming after a break. Four swords. You guys were in no contact. You were not in each other's lives. No way, shape, or form. You decided to walk away from this individual. You gave up on the individual. They may have been still trying to find themselves. You feel me? Still learning the ways of life. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find them a sensei, claim, claim to the sensei like a grasshopper, and now they a big old full fledged dragon or whatnot. But uh, you walked away from this person, and it was distance, and yeah, it was over with, right? And look at this: that this person is circling back because you two are divine counterparts. That's why they circling back. People be thinking that people fail to realize that we are also. That we're spiritual beings in a human vessel who are here to do experience what human lessons. So that does not mean that you hop up out the womb perfect. That don't mean you hop up out the womb knowing everything. That don't mean you hop up out the womb doing everything correctly. No, you don't. You make mistakes. And we see that uh, with the with the with the first cards. Hold up. Let me look at. It. Let me let me let me let y'all let me show y'all put y'all onto some game right here. You feel me? Because I'm learning something too right now. <clears throat> I 
bow to go wow wow. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. I don't know what I did with it, but whatever. I don't care. Um, is it in here? Nope. But anyways, you guys, mistakes, okay? Mistakes, heartbreak, learning, lessons. Didn't we talk about lessons? These were all, you were going through a lesson. You had a lesson to go through, and your lesson was seeing yourself as a diamond that you are, seeing yourself as uh, a divine counterpart, you know, divine, you know, uh, being like, like, you know, seeing yourself in high value, you feel me? This person's lesson was to process this baggage from their childhood wounds to get over being insecure, feeling like, oh, maybe they won't be able to, to give you what you need, you know, give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? So let me just go ahead and, uh, pick the easy option so they don't have to work too hard. I don't have to get my heart broken. You know what I'm saying? I have to be look out here looking crazy. You feel me? But this is a brand new cycle that's coming up for you guys, right? You are, you are showing up in a different light. And I feel like by you making the choice to work on yourself, that inadvertently uh, uh, sets something off in this individual for them to work on themselves as well. You feel me? It's all about repairing your heart, right? Some of you guys may choose when this person circles or blocks and come back around, you may choose to not engage with this person, but that's your, you know, that's your business. You feel me? You, you, you're, that's your right to do that. But this is an individual. Okay. I've, there's a lot of love between y'all still. Okay. No matter how you scramble it or whatnot. Okay. With this person that I'm channeling. Okay. With this individual, with this story is somebody who you still got feelings from. I don't care what you say. Y'all still got feelings for each other. That's the story that that's the energy that I'm picking up right now. And there's an opportunity for you guys to come together for real this time. Okay. For whoever needs that, but yo, let me get y'all some, some advice right here. Some extra advice. Wow. Wow. What does the collective need to know? Wow. This is a brand new opportunity to get, to get, uh, have that experience to come together, yo. I'm seeing fireworks for somebody, yo. And y'all know I don't even be talking like that. You see, open up and explore new things. I don't even, this is a lesson for you. That's the second time that came out, yo. Trust your vibes in this situation. How you react is your choice. You do what you want to do. Okay. Step back for a second and breathe. Be what it is that you seek, right? I feel like a part of the lesson for us in the collective was for us to not seek something out in another person. But for us to cultivate that, what we seek out on the and, and on the external, to cultivate it on the internal. You feel me on the inside. Some of us are looking for somebody to make us happy, to make us feel uh, supported. You feel me? To make us feel love. But no, that love must come from yourself. You gotta make yourself feel. Love. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, the boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. You have to make yourself. You have to love yourself first. You feel me? You have to be secure within yourself first. Nobody else can give that to you. That's just like somebody being um, addicted to something or suffering from an addiction. That person is not going to stop being addicted to whatever they're addicted to until they make that choice. They have to put their foot down and say, okay, I'm ready. I'm done with this. And then that's when the magic starts to happen. You feel me? And we're coming back to trust in the magic something magical is happening in this situation and there's a reason why you're circling back only you going to know in your situation uh through your intuition and through the events that take place as to what that magic is something is yo somebody going through a transformation or something something beautiful is going to come out of whether you be with this person or not you feel me trust your heart in this situation 
Trust your heart. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that song. Some people might be offended. Uh, some things are better left unsaid. Don't be hashing up. Okay, whatever happened in the past, happened in the past. Let it all go. You feel me? Accept nothing but the best. You feel me? And Spirit, <laughs> Spirit is telling you, you need to chill out a bit and calm down. Relax. Relax. Don't be trying to blow a gasket every time you see this person as an individual. Or every time somebody circle back around. You know what I'm saying? And they've grown or something like that. Don't always be in the, 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 the energy of blowing gaskets. That's not the energy the vibe we need to be in as a collective anyways. We need to be in that love vibration. I'm not telling you to put yourself in a bad situation. You know what this what we just said. Trust your heart in this situation. Trust your intuition in this situation. So your intuition should trump your heart. Intuition, the vibes you pick up should trump anything, right? But there's something magical that's happening in this situation. Only you, that's only for you to figure out, only for you to know. This person has been fantasizing about you, a union, silent, past life, again, wide open, watch, yo. Uh, you know this person as being a wild child. You know them as being a wild child, that they want to be locked down. This person is fantasizing about you. Y'all got a past life connection. They've been keeping this feelings a secret spirit is telling you to be adventurous the second time this came out yo i don't know what's about to pop off what exactly is about popping off for y'all i know some sort of profound experience for y'all yep see what i'm talking about this person i said what's this person's intentions they're seeing the light they seeing who you truly are you see that Two of Cups in Judgment. This person saw the light. I saw the sign and I opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. This person saw the sign that. And they're finally um, opening up their heart. They are finally allowing themselves to feel those intense and strong emotions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is different for us. This is different for us collective. Fam, y'all, this is different for us. Y'all know we don't get messages like this that often. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm, I'm going to be doing more love readings on here, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a directive to follow, even though, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. But, yo, um, that's what I got for you guys for this message. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all, get ready. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling it's going to be something passionate and strong mm, 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 mm. let's get it on yo that's what i'm just i just heard let's get it on oh baby yo whatever yeah. um y'all take care much love and light to everybody out there if you like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below all that good stuff i'm remixing it that's all good obrigado ciao mm -hmm.